Bill Dion Litwin. I'm CMO uh, at Canopy.us. So Canopy is an, an online safety app that um, protects kids and families and, and even adults from some of the risks of, of, uh, of spending time online. And those include the type of content that, that we're watching online. It includes um, how much time we're spending online. And then thirdly, some of the risks around who's on the other end of our direct messages and, and some of the risks that come with predators. And so we've been, we've been building AI that um, enables us to, in split seconds, filter out this um, inappropriate content and basically, through this filter, parents can have the peace of mind that their kids are not uh, stumbling across inappropriate content. Uh, and there's kind of multiple features that are built around that core underlying patented technology. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's super easy to use. There's basically the Canopy app, which in like a parent-child uh, scenario would be downloaded to the parent's phone. This this is more of a dashboard, kind of a control center. That's where you can um, set up set up all the members of the family. Uh, customize your settings, your protection settings. And then once that's set up, you download what we call our Shield app onto the device that you want to protect. So let's say the child's iPhone. And and that just sits there in the background. It's There's nothing. It, you just set it up once and forget it, and it's always there protecting. And through the, the dashboard, you can set uh, certain downtime. So if there's certain hours of the day where perhaps you, you don't want the child to be online, you can, you can set those. You can set how much filtering you'd like. So perhaps if you want to do even partial filtering, which would basically filter out uh, bikinis and, and kind of partial uh, nudeness, there's a feature that's around location. So you can set up geolocation alerts, which means I'd like to be notified when my child arrives home and you'll get an alert. So it really kind of acts as this assistant in the background that's providing the parent with um, with monitoring, but alerts that, that the parent can set up uh, according to the behaviors to kind of um, the policies they would like to, to implement. So, I mean, uh, smartphones today come with built in with some built in protection and definitely I would recommend making sure that th those are not typically enabled out of the box. So going in and making sure that you're that you're enabling some of the out of box protection on on um, on phones and 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 same goes to some of these social networks. So making sure that perhaps if it's Facebook or YouTube that you're that you're kind of that you've activated some of the some of the settings that are age appropriate. And so those are kind of easy, free ways to um, at least have a, some very basic protection in place. When you bought kids a bike for Christmas, uh, you, it would typically come with a helmet. And, and today we give them phones. Um, and oftentimes parents don't fully understand some of the risks of kind of what could happen online and, and, and places that these kids can kind of stumble, the inappropriate content that they might come across. And so First of all, of course, is is the parenting aspect, which includes communicating, explaining, uh, talking about some of these risks. Canopy comes in as a as a helper to just make sure that there is that um, that buffer, so that parents don't need to be constantly looking over their child's phone or their child's uh, shoulder to see what they're doing online, and kind of just knowing that that there's that safety net in place. Uh, and so, I would say if if you are buying your child a, a phone and and that's a great gift, make sure that there that it, at least there's the communication around potential potential hazards of being online, how to create healthy habits, um, what's appropriate, what's not, perhaps there are certain val family values that come with that. And then of course, like the next step would be to also evaluate implementing uh, an app like Canopy to just make sure. Um, and, and with Canopy, the parents can kind of customize the experience they would want their kids to have. So if you wanted to be a little more open, you can have less of a filtering setting. If you want to filter a little more, be more monitoring, you have that option as well. So it's, it's really about um, the aspect of being online. I think as most parents today didn't have a phone growing up. And so there's definitely the benefits that we want our kids to be connected. Um, there's value in being able to reach your child after school if, if you're not home. But at the same time, we do want to protect them and make sure that they're not being exposed to inappropriate content, that they're not being exposed to potential predators. And, and mostly that they're also not spending just too much time on their phone, which is now there's more and more proof out there that shows that it really can cause a number of kind of mental health risks for for young kids. Yeah. I mean, so so one area that we're seeing kind of I don't know if it's trending is the right word, but definitely kind of a new risk that's that's coming up is around a lot of being on on social is is uh, sharing text and sharing images, and and today with AI there are bad actors out there that know how to take these innocent images and manipulate them using AI and turning them into um, you know basically naked naked photos that they they then use to to blackmail these young kids. 
Uh, we see it with, with boys and girls. And so this is definitely an area where I think in the past kind of sharing photos was, uh, was done more freely. Now we're seeing, uh, and we're also recommending just to be a little more alert and, and not to share outside of kind of closed networks and just making sure that, um, that, that these photos can kind of co come back and, and be um, manipulated in such a way uh, that wasn't intended. We know of a case of a, of a young kind of teenage boy that was uh, in a group of uh, kind of gym goers and was sharing an innocent photo after a workout. And then someone, I guess, on this large uh, community was able to take it and manipulate it and turned it into a naked photo and then really went after this child um, trying to blackmail him. And it just, it's horrible. I mean, the impact on the child and the family, it's, it's, it's very, um, there's actually been, un unfortunately, a number of suicides as a result of this type of sextortion. And so it's definitely something that we should be kind of thinking about and, and, and making sure we have the, the proper communication and, and perhaps technology in place to help prevent it. The most important thing, and this is from research, that is, is not to kind of give into the blackmail. And so of course, let their parents know and then parents can approach. There's various hotlines in each state that, uh, and there's units set up today to, to deal with this. This is definitely a growing trend. Um, but, but the worst thing is really not not to share that, not to share with your with your parents, not to share it, and for the parents not to share it outside with the right uh, with the right agents. And so um, you kind of have to fight it, as opposed to thinking that if you um, give into the blackmail that it will stop. It typically will just it will just get worse. And so um, th that is kind of like the typical approach of of how to deal with it. And that's why I think having these creating a space where kids feel comfortable to talk to their parents about what they're exploring online, what they're seeing, how to deal with certain situations is so important. And many, many of our customers share that one of the one of the values that they're getting out of out of the app is that it really creates this opportunity for communication. That that they they're notified if if a child is uh, on certain websites and then they can have a conversation about perhaps why that's not a good idea of, of visiting those websites or if there's certain content that they were accidentally exposed to. And a lot of inappropriate content today is actually you stumble across it. It, it kind of comes to you. You're not necessarily seeking it out. And so kind of being able to, Canopy is kind of an, an enabler for that kind of um, positive parenting communication.